Said yesterday we had a gorgeous Easter. Fantastic. Beautiful. I hope you Thank got you. out and were able to enjoy yeah. it because we know it's changing <laughs> and it's going to change fast and bring in cooler temperatures and also rain and the potential for a wintry mix in spots. So this strong system will start to impact us tomorrow evening, bringing in light rain tomorrow evening. The heaviest of it and the most impacts are going to be coming uh, for Wednesday, the second half of the day Wednesday and into Thursday when we start to see that changeover from rain to snow in spots and when the winds are going to get gusting as that low pressure does move just off to our south with those rain chances they're going to be staying with us through much of this week so let's take a first look at the snow forecast as far as snow totals go for our region ranging from nothing at all to up to five inches in spots that one to three inch zone that is over Worcester County Lemonster included in that one to three inches and that's going to be the best potential for mixing. So coming down is rain and then some heavy wet snowflakes coming down trying to accumulate on the ground. The further north you go, the more hardy accumulation you're going to see. Three to five inches uh, is going to be a possibility for areas like Nashua, Hollis, and as we go the further south you go, Haverhill, Lawrence in that one to three zone along with Billerica. And then up to one inch is also just north of Boston and seeing that for parts of Cape Ann as well. Well, so up to one inch in spots, that's going to be where you definitely see a lot of mixing. And the, also up to three inches, it's still going to be a pretty good wintry mix, then changing over, trying to come down as heavy, wet snow. And the issue with heavy, wet snow is it can accumulate very quickly. Further north you go, all snow for New Hampshire. And the further north, even out of our area, those mountains are going to get a lot of snow out of this system. So as far as timing goes, that rain is going to kick up by Wednesday morning. You're going to be seeing rain. Higher elevations. The Worcester Hills does have the potential to be mixing and even snow for early Wednesday morning. The rest of us, though, just plain old rain. It will be heavy at times, though, with gusting wind, so it's not going to be the best day Wednesday. It does look like we're basically getting in on an all-day rain. Now we're at 3 o'clock, starting to see that snow working its way into areas like Worcester County, and we're going to continue to see that overnight into Thursday as temperatures cool overnight into Thursday. That's going to become more and more of a possibility. So temperatures staying on the cooler side for the next four or five days. By the time we get into next weekend, we're in the upper 40s and then we're really climbing into the low to middle 60s and that's going to include the eclipse day. So totality, this is going to be April 8th, so Monday, next Monday. Totality over northern New England. Right now, sky conditions look gorgeous. Those temperatures look gorgeous. We couldn't get a better eclipse forecast at this time. So We'll take what we can get. We have to make it through this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then we're going to get in on the sunshine. Then we're going to get in on those warmer temperatures coming our way, upper 50s Monday, Tuesday, and then even some low to middle 60s making their way into the 10-day forecast.